Hello, everybody. It's Miss C here, and I'm so happy that we're together for our ECRI lesson today. I have a special guest. His name is ECRI the Elephant. He's excited to help us with our lesson today. So before we get started, you're going to need a few supplies. You will need a pencil and a piece of paper or a whiteboard and a marker for our dictation. And that will happen a little bit later in our lesson. So if you want to click pause and go get those supplies, now would be a great time to do so. All right, let's get started. So first we're going to look at our irregular words. And these words don't always follow the rules. This is our say it, spell it, say it method. And I'll show you how to do the first word and then you guys will continue on with the others. All right, so my turn, and we're gonna follow the cursor. It's just like my finger, but it's a cursor. All right, ready? My turn, the word is down. Your turn, the word is, and you would say down. All right, spell down. Word, and you would say down again. Awesome, let's try the next one. All right, my turn, the word is some. Your turn, the word is? Spell some. Word, some, excellent. All right, my turn, the word is where? Your turn, the word is? Spell where. Word, where, excellent. My turn, the word is into. Your turn, the word is spell into. Word, into. They're doing a great job, aren't they, Ekri? He says yes, that's awesome. All right, now we're going to read our irregular words. I'm gonna say word, and then I'm gonna slide my cursor. When I slide my cursor is when you will tell me what the word is. Are you guys ready? All right, word, wait till I slide. Down, word, some, word, where, word, into, word, water, word, are, word, into, word, down, word, was, word, down, word, where, oh, we need to move, there we go, word, some, word, from, word, eat, word, of, and word two. Excellent job, students. Let's see what's next. All right, we have our sound spelling cards. Ekri and I, whoops, there we go. We're gonna move right on over here to the first sound spelling card. This is our orchestra card. Can you guys say orchestra? Good, okay, the sound is or. The spelling is O-R. All right, your turn. The card is, the sound is, and the spelling is, excellent. Did you say the card is orchestra? The sound is or, the spelling is O-R. Great job, let's move on to the second card. 
All right. So this card is our score card. What card is it? Good. Okay. The sound is or. The spelling is O-R-E. Great. Your turn. The card is? The sound is? The spelling is? Did you say the card is score? The sound is or, and the spelling is O-R-E. Great job. Woo. All right, next. All right, now we have our sound spelling review. You guys are gonna tell me what the sound is. I'm going to say sound. I'm going to slide my cursor under the letters and you will tell me what sound the letters make. All right, the first one is, I'll give you a clue. All right, it's just like our orchestra card. Ready, sound, or, sound, or, sound. Ah, this is like our umbrella card. It's our short U sound, great. All right, for this one, when we have a little line right here, that means there's a consonant that goes right here. So there are two sounds that a consonant Y makes. Our first one is like the word bunny. Say bunny. Do you hear that the Y says E at the end? You're right. All right, their second sound is um, like our sky card. If there was a K here, the Y would say I. Do you hear that when we say sky? Yeah. All right. So first sound, E. Second sound, I. Sound, or. Sound, ing, like in the word sing. Sound, or sound mm. sound ink sound or sound b sound or this is our e consonant e sound this little silent Bossy E makes this E say its name, as in our concrete card. So our sound here is E. Good job. Oh, Ekri is so excited about this letter. The E can make two sounds. Our first sound is E, eh, like elephant. Woo, he's doing a happy dance. He's so happy about this E sound. All right, so our first sound is E. Eh. Our second sound is E. Good job. This is our U consonant E sound. This silent bossy E is making the U say U, as in our mule card. So sound, U. Great job. All right, our last sound. Ready? Sound, E. Excellent job. Okay, now we are moving on to our word blending. Okay, I need to come down here and grab a pen so I can use it. I think I'll choose purple, my favorite color. Do you like purple, Ekri? All right, we are going to choose purple. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to underline a letter and you will tell me what sound it makes and I will continue doing that and we will blend these sounds to make a word. So for instance, we'll start with the F. F says F, good job. All right, we just practiced the OR sound as in our orchestra card. OR says OR, let's blend it. F, OR, word, four. Excellent job. This one looks pretty easy. We're gonna blend those two letters together. 
And the sound is or. And our word is or. All right. Sound. P. Sound. Or. Sound. T. Let's blend them. P. Or. T. Word. Port. All right. Sound. H. Sound. Or. Sound. S. Let's blend them. H. Or. S. Word. Horse. Excellent job. When we come down here, these words have two syllables, and so we are going to draw a line right here and split them into the two syllables. If we were clapping our syllables, it would sound like this. Cat is right all right so first we're going to blend the first part of our word and then we will blend the second syllable of our word all right ready sound k sound ah what sound does a tch make when it's blended together ch excellent let's blend these sounds together K, A, CH. Excellent. Catch. We're going to move on over to our suffix here, the ES suffix. All right, our sound is E. Eh. Sound, S. Blend, S. All right, let's blend these syllables together. Catch, as Word catches. Excellent job. All right, next one. We're also going to divide that into syllables, okay? Sound, g. Sound, ul. Sound, a. There's our short a sound. What sound does it make when there's two s's side by side? S, a strong s. All right, let's blend these sounds. G, O, A, S, glass. Good. We're going to go to our suffix here. And when we have add an ES to some words, it means more than one. Okay? In this, in this word, it means more than one pair of glasses. All right. Sound, E, eh. sound, S. Blend S. Let's blend our syllables. Glasses. Word. Glasses. They're doing such a good job. Yeah. All right. Next word, we're going to divide it into syllables. All right. Sound. D. Sound. I. When we have a consonant digraph, when these two letters are side by side and they make a sound, what sound do they make? Shh. Excellent. Let's blend the sounds. D, I, sh. Sound, dish. All right. Sound, e, eh. sound, s, blend, s. Let's blend the syllables. Dishes. Word. Dishes. Excellent. All right, last one. We're going to divide that into the syllables. Okay. Sound. B. Sound. Ah, like our octopus card. It's our short O sound. X. X. All right, let's blend them. B, ox, box. Let's go over here. Sound, e, eh. sound, s, blend, s. Ready? Let's blend the word. Boxes, word, 
boxes. You guys did an awesome job. So proud of you. Okay. Now we're going to do our regular read wording. Read wording. Yes. <laughs> word reading. That's it. Um, all right. So when I say word and slide my cursor, you are going to say the word as I slide my cursor. All right. All right. Ready? Word. Four. And I'll say the word after I give you a couple seconds to figure it out, just to make sure we're all on track. Perfect. All right. Word. Or. Word. Port. Word. Horse. Word. We just practice this one. Catches. Word. Glasses. Word. Dishes. Word. Boxes. Word. Score. Word. More. Word. Store. Word. Shore. Word. Form. Word. Cord. Word. Born. And word. North. You did it. Excellent job. Let's see what's next. Okay, after we do dictation, we are going to read our story at the shore. Do you guys see our O-R-E sound we were practicing earlier? Perfect. All right, let's move on to dictation. So this is where you're going to need your pencil and piece of paper or your whiteboard and marker. And I am going to give you a word and you are going to spell it for me and then I will write it in the box to make sure you you got it. All right. So our first word is score. Think about the scorecard we practiced. While you're writing score, I am going to write it in my box. It's really difficult to write with this pen. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right. Did you get S C O R E? Do you see the O R E at the end? Like our score card? Sk or excellent. All right. We're going to move on to our second word. The second word is more. I want more cake. More. All right, are you ready for the answer? All right, M-O-R-E, more. Awesome job. Our third word is store. I need to go to the store. Store, st or right store. All right, S-T-O-R-E. There's our O-R-E sound again, st-or. Awesome job. Our last word is shore. There were seashells on the shore, sh-or, right shore. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you should have S H 
O R E, shore, sh, or. Excellent, you guys. All of these words had our O R E sound at the end of them. Good job. All right, now we are going to go to our story. And this story is called At the Shore. And our author is Mary Palmert. Are you excited to hear the story, Ekri? And he's going to help me do some tapping when we read our words. All right, so first we're gonna look at some of the words that we will see in our story today. And these are our R controlled words. We just practiced the orchestra card and the score card, okay? All right. So just follow along with me. I'll give you a chance to say the word and then I'll give you the answer. All right, the first word. War. Store. Port. Score. Fort. Shore. Or for short corn and more. Now we have a consonant digraph. When you have a PH together, do you guys remember what sound that makes? Do you remember? It says F. All right, as in the word photo and trophy. Excellent. Okay, now we have a syllable pattern, a consonant, then a vowel, as in the words we, go, photo, and trophy. And our high frequency words today are from, the, are, a, I, water, of, to, eat, and who. Okay. So how this is going to work is I am going to put my cursor under the first letter and when you hear a tap, I'm going to see if Ekri can help me tap. Yep, he can help me tap. Every time you hear Ekri tap, you're going to read the word. We're going to go all the way to the end of a sentence, and then I will read the sentence fluently, and then we'll go to the next sentence. We will go through the entire story this way. All right, let's start. Ready? I wore my cap from the store. I got my backpack. And don't get frustrated if you don't know every word. We can slow down a little bit if we need to. Um, just do your best. All right, I got my backpack. We can go. Ready? And just sound out the words as best you can. Ready? We are at a port. I see ships in the water. Oh, remember that word? Photo. Oh, 
I take a photo of the ships. Dad and I see a ball game. The score is six to five. Who will win the trophy? We drive to a big fort. There's our OR sound, do you see it? It has a big flag. It is hot. We can swim at the shore. I can run or jump in the waves. How are you doing, Ekri? Are you keeping up? All right, good job. We go for a short walk. We stop to eat clams and corn. Dad has more clams than mom. We had fun. But it is time to go. All right, that's the end of our story. Thank you so much, Ekri, for helping me tap. I am going to go back up to the beginning of the story. I'm going to, going to read it fluently to you guys. And that's your goal with these decodables is to read your story fluently. And each time you do, you'll get better and better. All right. Sit back and enjoy. I wore my cap from the store. I got my backpack. We can go. We are at a port. I see ships in the water. I take a photo of the ships. Dad and I see a ball game. The score is six to five. Who will win the trophy? We drive to a big fort. It has a big flag. It is hot. We can swim at the shore. I can run or jump in the waves. We go for a short walk. We stop to eat clams and corn. Dad has more clams than mom. We had fun, but it is time to go. All right, guys, it was so good to see everybody today. And guess what? 
Ekri thinks you guys have earned a soaring ticket today. Good job, everybody. All right, we will see you next time. Bye, everybody.